honestly, my red flag is the fact that I stare at the view instead of the camera. Today is going to be a sit down video. I wanted to talk about my fitness journey, my body confidence, how I got here, and hopefully it can inspire some of you, hopefully it can help some of you, and that is all I can ask for, so let's get started. <laughs> Why do I do that? Back in 2017, I actually had an eating disorder and it was just truly one of the darkest times in my life and you name it, I did it. Counting calories, binging, restrictive, working out three hours a day, not allowing myself to do anything. I mean, it was my freaking life. So socially i didn't hang out with anybody physically my skin was breaking out like crazy i was cold all the time i had no energy to do anything because i hated the way that i look i just wore super baggy clothes I never wanted someone to see my body i would get on the scale and try to hit a certain number that was just so toxic for my mind and i just thought that if i hit a certain number i was going to look a certain way and then i would just be all good take pictures every day and see no change and just be so frustrated and i hit this emotional rock bottom where i just decided that i want more i want better it was more so the fact that i said for the first time i have an eating disorder and i'm really depressed and by acknowledging that it really kind of started turning around for me so fast that is really what happened and i've been on this journey for five years now and i am so far from that mental headspace that it's insane for me to even talk about this right now okay so the first thing i wanted to talk about my fitness routine really the only thing i wanted to say is truly finding what you love to do to stay active and to move your body compared to doing what you think you should be doing and i think over the course of the last five years i've just have done it all if we're talking about the gym specifically lifting running classes slowly over time i've realized what i love to do and I really just stick with things that I love to do but the thing is I wouldn't have found those things unless I tried all of it so I just recommend the more you do the more you realize what's for you versus what's not for you so for example I hate running think of the gym and be like ugh, I have to run when it comes to cardio jumping ropes is my thing I just love how I feel when I'm doing it and when I feel good, it makes me just want to keep doing it. So that's one thing for sure. Other things that I've picked up on the way is I fell in love with lifting. It was something that I just had always thought was very intimidating. And when I first tried it out, it just felt so right that I was like, wow. And I really just want to say that the journey and the only competition and the only comparison that matters you versus your old self naturally you kind of gain confidence as you're doing it just because progress is something that when you see it happening and you can't help but just feel rewarded and accomplished and so as long as you're staying active i truly think that's the most important thing and so jumping ropes yoga going on a walk ice skating snowboarding there's so many activities that keeps your body moving and i truly think that is the most important thing on to the next topic i wanted to talk about my diet and i think the biggest thing is observing and analyzing my energy and what i mean by that is i would look at the day from the moment i woke up to the time i went to bed and observed how i felt on an energy level throughout the day so doing that really helped me understand when i function best and so bringing in my diet, I applied intermittent fasting onto that and started eating around the times that I felt my dip would take 
place. And again, this took years for me to get here. <laughs> I just want to put that one out there because I would used to eat breakfast and feel super upset with my stomach and my energy would just be all over the place. And I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, I just don't feel good. And then once I took out eating in the morning, I noticed like, oh wow, like I feel really good. And so it was a lot of trials and errors that got me here. But yes, number one, I do IF. And then number two is observing and seeing how your body reacts to all the different food that you're eating. That could be simple things as dairy, greasy food. Your body responds a certain way. And I have a very sensitive stomach, so that became a priority of mine. I would say for the last three years, but especially in this past year. And by doing so, I've learned that my body responds best to a pescatarian diet. I luckily love seafood, so... I, that is really what I eat a lot of. And with that being said, now that doesn't mean that I don't eat greasy food or like fried food. I just keep that in moderation. The third thing is cooking all of my meal when I can. And something that is simple that I've realized is truly the more love you put into making your food, the better it tastes. And overall, it's just really good for your body because you know exactly what ingredients are going in there. And I just have really grown an appreciation for cooking. That's what my diet looks like. Number four is moderation is key. So I don't restrict myself. Some of my guilty pleasures are hot Cheetos, ramen, and if I want it, I'm going to allow myself to have it because life is too short for you to like not enjoy things. Giving myself that freedom to have these things, I don't feel the need to have it all the time compared to 2017 me where I was so restrictive to the point where I was like, you can't have A, B, and C. And by having that mentality, I just wanted to have it more and more. So uh, those four things have really helped my diet in general, which then just reflects on my body. I mean, I think one good thing I can really say is like my skin. <laughs> it's not really where I want it to be, but the more that I take care of myself internally, I think the more it shows. The next topic I wanted to talk about is how I stay consistent. Hopefully this can help you. Number one, what you do outside of the gym that really counts. And why I say that is if you're working out for just an hour, that is such a small part of your day. And if your lifestyle outside the gym is doing takeouts, going to bed late, drinking soda, you're not going to see the results that you want. And so things that I do keep all of this consistent is I go to bed early, I drink plenty of water throughout the day, and I also drink my honey lemon water, and I get vitamin D when I can. And why it's so important is because when you do more things that just made you feel good, you're going to want to feel this good all the time. And I'm at this point now where going to the gym makes me feel good, so I go. I go ice skating because it makes me feel good, so I go. I go to bed early because I feel good, so I'm gonna go to bed early. And all of these little things took so long for me to learn and to get here, and so I wanted to just share that one. Number two is understanding that we all start somewhere. I think there is so much out there to consume and there's so many different, you should do this, you should do that. And I really just wanna say, regardless of where you start, just start. And you're going to learn over time what works for you, doesn't work for you. And the more you can cater a healthy lifestyle routine for you, you are going to be on such a great path. And a friend of mine once told me that if you keep going, progress is inevitable and it's still an ongoing journey for me so have grace in yourself explore and what really counts is the fact that you're trying and you're staying active number three what keeps me consistent is understanding the benefit of everything that I've talked about. I really strive for emotional stability and feeling calm and grounded throughout my day and feeling strong and feeling energetic. And my diet, my workout, it's all a part of this. And if it makes me feel good and gives me clarity, without a doubt, I would never stop this. I am very grateful to have gone around this thought just because only when I started realizing again how much your mind, body, and soul align did I start making and implementing all these changes. So 
that is really how I stay consistent. I really encourage you to find what works for you, whether that's your diet, your workout routine, and then how you stay consistent. This is a lifestyle that we're trying to build. I will see you in my next video with a week of workouts. <laughs>